Okay. So trending in the Twitter hashtags is Billie Eilish. And she is trending because she is outraged at times that people laugh when she displays a Tourette's tick. If you guys don't know how Tourette's manifest, then sometimes people jerk, they cuss, they do all sorts of things when you have Tourette's syndrome. Understanding having a chronic illness is not funny, but also understanding and overstanding how the fuck would anyone know that she has fucking Tourette's? Like, how are you outraged that someone doesn't know you have a chronic illness that you've never told people that you had? Faux outrage is killing the streets, bro. Same thing with like the whole LGBTQ issue. I get it. Like rights are rights. Human beings are human beings. You have a right to love who you love. But at the end of the day, like, why are we so outraged that Dave Chappelle, who has a fucking trans friend, or Richie, Richie, Ricky Gervais, Gervais, whatever, why are we outraged that he's telling trans jokes when at the end of the day, they're still they're still acknowledging your fucking humanity bro like why are we outraged or why are you choosing that to be outraged about when they're still acknowledging your humanity they're simply making a joke about something that they don't understand and at the end of the day even though they don't understand it they fucking understand it they don't want your commentary on it they're just making a joke to make people that think like them giggle like how the fuck are we canceling people because of stupid shit like that People make jokes all the fucking time, bro. And I get it, like, blah, blah, blah. But, nigga, Chris Rock got hella famous talking about the stupid shit that niggas do. And I've never heard any faux outrage about Chris Rock telling those dumbass fucking jokes. Everybody laughed. They were hella stupid. But at the end of the day, there is a certain demographic of people that do fucking act like that. They do behave that way. And so, whatever. It's still factual. Niggas will put spinners on anything. You get it. Because at the end of the day, you know, the LBGTQ community is outraged by Ricky Gervais and fucking um, Dave Chappelle. But at the end of the day, wasn't it Liberty Mutual or one of those insurance companies that just pulled back all of their support for trans media coming out? They were supporting books and flyers and educational information. And they have just repealed all of their support for fucking LGBTQ community. And I don't see nobody out there like picking in their fucking shit on Netflix. I don't see Netflix walking out about that. I don't see people getting all upset about that shit. And that that impacts the community much more than a fucking couple of giggles. I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, Dave Chappelle bought more, brought more information or more you know, attention to that community anyway, just by telling a few dumbass jokes that got talked about, blah, you know. Like, pick and choose your battle. Some shit is actually the work of an ally, and other shit is like just slipping between the fucking radar because y'all just want to pick and choose who you're mad at instead of looking at fucking facts. Like, stop being a Billie Eilish. Just, I don't know who the fuck you can be, but stop being Billie Eilish, trans people.